All right, we're here to play Iron Man at Papa outside of Pittsburgh. Iron Man is one of Stern's most recent creations, and uh, it's a brutally difficult game. And I think for uh, a lot of players, that's what makes it enjoyable. It's kind of a return to some of the old, old school games where if your game lasted more than three or four minutes, you put up a good effort. Uh, we're going to take you through some of, the, uh, some of the features in Iron Man, some of the goals, and we'll see how far we can get through the game. One of the biggest goals is to try and complete the five obje objectives in the center of the play field. The Iron Man objective, the War Machine, Whiplash, Multiballs, the Drones, which is basically progress towards War Machine, and the Ironmonger Multiball. So if you can complete all five of those tests, you get a chance to play Do or Die, which is a 50 million hurry up uh, on a game where 12 million is a replay and 30 million is a great score. So it really has a very heavy risk reward element uh, completing all the tasks on the same ball allows you to play do or die. Completing all the tasks um, at all uh, lights Jericho. It's actually six tasks, but those are five of the six. And uh, so Jericho and do or die are the main goals of the game. We'll see how far we can get. Now, Iron Man is brutally difficult, and uh, in particular the outlanes. You see how wide the outlanes are set here. Uh, at, at Papa, they're set as wide as they can go. And... There's going to be no ball saver as well. So what we need to talk about here is how to get control of the ball and how to manage a game where side-to-side -side motion is very common. Um, the first tactic is that when the ball returns to the bumpers to the right side, I'm going to push the machine with my right hand to push the ball off the sidewall. So when that occurs, I'll let you know. Um, the idea there is that by getting the ball off the sidewall, uh, it keeps it from coming down and hitting the slingshot and going out of control immediately. Uh, getting control is important and then now we've got to focus on our tasks. One task is to uh, complete the whiplash which is this shot. You must hit whiplash five times to uh, start its multi-ball. So I'm going to try to backhand it into whiplash and as you see I nearly paid for that mistake with my ball. Let's get back. Once you lose the ball you got to get it back under control and just retarget. There's the whiplash shot. The first whiplash shot goes out of control with a magnet. So I sometimes have lost the ball actually on that return. Whiplash takes five shots to start, but you don't want to start it directly. You actually want to stack it with at least one other round. Ideally, the ideal is uh, the War Machine multi-ball stack to then start whiplash during War Machine. The other stack that's very useful is the, uh, the bogey stack, which are the ramp shots. So you can shoot the ramp shots. Either ram can be shot from the left flipper. So I'm going to try to backhand the left the left ramp there, and then shoot it directly to the right ramp. And we'll do that back and forth if we can. And I'm going to try again not to start this round. I got three out of the five shots there. There's four, but I I do not want that fifth shot. Now I have control again. And the reason I'm not shooting that start shot to start bogey is I want to stack it. I want bogey to be running during something else, one of the multi-balls. Uh, so now I'm going to just deliberately ignore bogey in favor of some of the other goals. The, another goal to talk about is the iron monger shot, which is the spinner shots on the outside. You have to shoot the spinner shots enough times to spell out monger to raise them, and then shoot monger six times to start the multi-ball. Once monger gets raised, you can't shoot any of the shots that are behind it. The left ramp, the drone targets, the war machine. Well, you can hit the war machine, but... Um, that left ramp is kind of out of play once Monger comes up. This is also a good opportunity to talk about the loop pass. And bam, and you see there, that was me popping the machine. I'm gonna do a loop pass, which is a long shot around and then dropping the flipper like a drop catch when it approaches. The, when it approaches. As you can see, every time the ball is out of control, I am on it, on the machine, trying to keep the ball from going where it wants to, which is the side lanes. If I can get the ball to keep from going into the in-lane, out-lane areas at all, I have a much better chance of getting that ball to stay up for a while. Monger also disables Whiplash, so I'm actually going to try to shoot Whiplash a couple more times to make progress. You'll notice that I'm tr deliberately trying not to start anything uh, because I want to start all of these things on the same ball. And Whiplash, as you can tell from that situation, that was a good live catch to get control again. Whiplash sends the ball completely out of control, so you need to have both flippers down, be ready for the ball, 
but his whiplash is going to send it back at you. And you could lose the ball out of whiplash through no fault of your own. But you see there, if I hadn't lowered my lowered my flipper, and I still don't have control of this ball yet. If I hadn't lowered my flipper to get that second left flip in, I would have been hosed there. Uh, as it was, it worked out, but it was a very dangerous situation. And um, just something that really comes up all the time with uh, the whiplash or any game that returns the ball at speed. The fourth goal to concentrate on is the Ironman targets. And those red targets, I've hit most of them just randomly bouncing around. You can bank the ball off the Ironman targets and into whiplash, uh, similar to the way it works in World Cup soccer. So I'm going to try that here. And I missed it way too far to the left. That was a little better, but still not what I was after. So now Whiplash Multiball is ready, I believe. Okay, and I've started bogey. I'm going to try to start Whiplash immediately. Oh, okay. I miscounted Whiplash. I need one more shot to Whiplash. While bogey is running and time is running out. Now Whiplash has started. So my goal here is to shoot all shots which are running for bogey. And there'll be Whiplash jackpots too. So this kind of stack allows you to earn a lot more points in a quick order than you might otherwise. Now you still have to execute, of course, and so if I can't shoot anything, like I'm not able to, it seems. Yeah, yeah, whatever. One thing to watch out for here is commonly the, uh, the War Machine shot will give an ball in these situations too. So you can use the ball to your advantage. Oh yeah, there's a Lazarus ball there, which happens more frequently than you might expect on Iron Man. If you go back and uh, watch it at ultra high speed, you'll notice the ball was below the flippers there. Uh, and now it's back. Uh, so that was Whiplash. And um, I kind of hosed myself just a little by playing Whiplash before anything else is really completed, especially the drone targets. It's going to be very difficult to get uh, do or die out of this. But um, the next goal I'm going to try for is to get Monger and Iron Man running together, which is a nice, uh, a nice stack. Iron Man completed. Mark four completed. Ground assault drone. So here is uh, Monger completed. And, oh, and a fumble. Just a bad, bad drain there, unfortunately. And um, so... Monger is complete. The settings on this particular uh, Iron Man are still set the way they were at Pop the 13, which means I have to shoot the center spinner to bring up the Iron Monger in the first place. It's pretty difficult. Um, but let's go ahead and do that. There's that tap out. I've also completed four out of the six marks. So if I can get Monger and War Machine at some point during this game, I will uh, get to Jericho. So there's the Monger shot, raises Monger. Uh, Monger takes six shots, and this is a good time to talk about what to do and what not to do with Monger. Monger has a magnet set up right in the center, so if you shoot Monger dead center, you're basically screwed. What you have to do is shoot Monger off on the corner, like on the right. That's a hit to Monger. There's another one, and I'm not getting crushed by the magnet. Come on, stay up. Oh, yeah. War Machine is ready, and so the ideal here is to start War Machine and then get Monger during War Machine. One more shot will start Monger, but if I can start War Machine before that, ah, uh, damn. Just another bad break there. But um, Monger will start Mark 5, War Machine is Mark 6. So I'm going to try for War Machine here before starting Monger. And I'm also going to soft plunge. The skill shot is not worth that many points. I'd rather get control on the right flipper with a shot for War Machine. So I'm going to aim for War Machine, and then as soon as War Machine starts, try to hit the Monger. So there's War Machine multi-ball. And there's Monger. So now those are both running together. And that's going to give me Mark 6. So whenever this multi-ball ends, I will have Jericho ready. During a monger, the goal is to raise the monger by shooting a spinner, then hit the monger six times. Very similar to how you play it in normal play. Something to keep in mind too is that because War Machine is also running, 
I have opportunity to earn the atom balls that War Machine gives. And uh, as it was, none of the multi balls were played very well. Uh, but I do have Jericho lit for making all, the, all Mark Sixes. That started by shooting the spinner, and I was successful at shooting the spinner earlier, but uh, now I'm not. Um, one thing is, with, when you have shots that are high value, like starting Jericho or completing do or die, one trick is to just try to forget about how important the shot is points-wise and just think, all right, I just need three more shots to Ironmonger, and I'll be able to start Jericho. And instantly that shot becomes easier. Not that it'll definitely happen, but there's a good loop pass. Get up there, will ya? Come on, man. Jericho's lit already, will ya? Yes, yes. This is good for the video. <laughs> Alright, let's get control and make the shot already. Um, I find that the monger shot up the middle is much easier from the right flipper than the left, although it, it hasn't seemed that way the last six tries. So... Ah, damn it. Well, that was unfortunately a botch. And um, let's start over. We'll see if we can pick up a better game there and maybe get to do or die. All right, now that we've come close, let's see if we can really rock it out here. Again, right off the bat, you, you just have to be ready for the ball and be willing to bump the corner of the machine there to save it. Uh, as I said in the last game, we're trying to advance all of the goals without starting any of them because to get do or die, you must complete all the goals on the same ball. So I'm going to try to get these drone targets and advance a little bit because I found that, that uh, that's really the uh, the one that I have the most trouble with. Uh, the backhand the right ramp, though. Wow, that's a rarity. But do you see that? That backhand uh, was much safer than if I shot that same shot from the left flipper. There's a very ten high tendency to drain either down the middle or down the left. Uh, from the backhand, it's uh, much, much safer. So, the same is true for the whiplash to a lesser extent. Uh, the whiplash is a much tougher backhand. It can be done, but I find that, uh, well, at least on this one, I haven't been able to pull it off yet. So, backhand, the, the regular shot into the whiplash is advised in that case. And just be ready with the whiplash return because the whiplash return can go anywhere. It looks safe, but. Uh, the whiplash turn, even on that first shot, could go anywhere. After the first shot, the whiplash turn is crazy. And you're just kind of hoping that nothing bad happens to you off of that. So here we go. I've got the ball again. Just relax, get, get set. And again, I'm back in the drone here. And uh, just be ready for the return. That ball returns fast. Don't forget about the in-lanes and, in -lanes and out lanes in this game. They are controlled by the player, and you get a reward, a multiplier, and a bonus award lit at War Machine for completing them all. Uh, so definitely worth getting. And this also adds one of the marks. So don't ignore that. If you ignore that, you're ignoring points. Almost done with the drones. That's good. Let's concentrate on Whiplash and a little monger here. I kind of wish I could figure out how many sh more shots I need to get for Whiplash. Uh, at some point, the instant info in this game is pretty poor. It just basically tells you nothing of importance. It just tells you, wow, my replay score, I do not care. And I want to know how many shots I need for, uh, for Whiplash. I want to know how many I need for War Machine. Um, so let's shoot Whiplash one more time. But um, I said in my last game, one thing some players have decided here that I think is pretty good advice is to get, get drones going and get uh, War Machine going first uh, because you can complete Whiplash during War Machine multi-ball fairly easily. Backhanding drones is not too bad. I haven't lost the ball yet off that. Now Bogey is ready with one more shot. I think I have two more drones to get and two more whiplashes to get. So it might be worth going for drones. I'm going to try the Iron Man loop around first. If I can loop pass. Hey, that's a great loop pass. The greatest loop pass of all time. And one of the reasons why I tend not to use the loop pass in competition, because I am very bad at it. So now that you've seen how to not to do a loop pass, let's get back in the game and get some other stuff going. Spin it. 
players to battle the iron monger. Well, monger is ready up the center spinner. Control surfaces. Let's get death save going here. You are not authorized to shake the game. A one warning death save. Um, it was a nice smooth move. Move it left, move it right. Good stuff. Uh, Monger's ready. Whiplash is almost ready. Iron Man, I still need three more target swords. So let's go for that. Uh, drone targets, I think I need two more drones. Ideally, again, you want to backhand those. So if I was a more patient player right now, I would... Uh, ah, jeez. I would be backhanding those. And you might look and say, well, this game has been really uh, a waste right now, but uh, now it's ball three. There's no reason to uh, wait up on any of the goals. So let's blast it out and see if I can pull off the goals and uh, get do or die. Um, may as well start with uh, Monger. Oh, War, War Machine. Machine. War Machine is the perfect place to start. Whoa. So if I can get War Machine going, I can get Whiplash during War Machine. I've got Bogey. This is uh, potentially a really nice pickup if I get Bogey with uh, War Machine. Right ramp to War Machine is a good combo here. And uh, now I can additionally go for Whiplash. Try and finish that Whiplash off. The other reason that... Uh, the other reason that War Machine is a good choice here is that it also tends to give time extenders. And <laughs> look at that, three balls trapped on the... Uh, uh, the whiplash magnet, as that multi-ball begins, that there'll be a four-ball multi-ball. So this is a fair amount of points coming this way. Nice sound effects in this multi-ball. Uh, I'm disappointed with uh, having all those balls trapped on the magnet there. It meant that that multi-ball didn't last very long. Um, and I got three out of the five tasks now finished. I have to finish Iron, Mo Iron Man targets and the monger, so I'm back pretty much the same situation I was in in the last game. Uh, and just hoping that I can play the monger a little better this time than I did the last time. So there's one, two, three monger hits. That first monger shot was very poor. You want monger shots to be towards the edge of the monger, not up the middle. So I've got one more monger shot to go. Um, hmm. Do I want Iron Man? Yeah, I want Iron Man. But uh, I didn't get it. I got the monger instead. Uh, Bogey is still running too, so the kind of stuff that uh, is a real opportunity is all kind of ready at once right now. Um, during um, Monger, you want to shoot it six times and then shoot up the middle for a super, which is worth three million. It's not that many points, to be honest, compared to some of the other opportunities the game presents. But uh, oh, look at that! If you do get a super. And uh, don't forget about that uh, War Machine ball. War Machine will give you out of ball pretty much every time. And uh, some of these multi balls that are tend to be very short, short lived, it's a good choice and a good way to play the game. Oh my goodness. We're back to regular play. We now got four out of the five requirements gone. I need to get um, Iron Man. Actually, I don't even need to start Iron Man. I just need to hit that one target, the red target on the left there, like that. And. Um, that completes the five awards. So right now up the middle, that thing is flashing for do or die. Do or die is a 50 million hurry up. So what I have to do is shoot the spinner in the middle and then light the spinner again for 50 million. When you're in a situation like this, the best thing to do is not, don't think about what's important or what pressure you're under to make the shot. Just pretend it's a regular shot that uh, monger is flashing or that you just need to shoot the spinner for some stupid reason. And you're that much more likely, I think, to make it if you ignore the pressure you're under. So especially now that the shot is actually worth 50 million, uh, it is worth just not thinking about and just nail it. Or at the very least, don't do that. And try not to miss twice or three times in a row or, you know, like four times in a row. Or... Boom! It's 31 million, baby, and that's well, going to start to Jericho. The Jericho. Jericho is the other round that you can get, and you earn Jericho by completing all of the all of the five tasks plus bogey at any point during the game. They don't have to all be on the same ball, 
But if they are on the same ball, you get Jericho along with do or die. And in that situation, Jericho is double value. Uh, so every shot right now is worth um, 550,000 or so. Uh, I tend to concentrate on the simple, easy shots that I can make. Mainly at the very beginning, I want the monger, the easy, easy points off monger. But uh, as with regular play, being able to get control of the ball off an out lane is critical. If the ball is out of control, get it under control. Use your body. Oh, very poor Jericho. But a good end, uh, a pretty poor ending to a really good game, though. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this. And uh, get out there, play some Iron Man. It's one of the best games to be released in the last few years. Really a high pressure game. Uh, just terrific in that way, the way it just uh, kind of forces you to make good shots at the right times. Take care and play some pinball. Bye bye. Very good.